Why are you filming? Why am I filming? I'm yeah. just going through a walkthrough here. What for? What for? Yeah, why? Just to see what the culture is like around here. Okay. What do you think so far? You seem a little angry. I'm not angry, I'm just asking you what you're doing. What do I think so far? I think it doesn't really look like Australia here. What makes it not Australian to you, Lauren? The fact that I can hardly be, hear people speaking English, the fact that people here are clearly not adapting to the Western culture, the signs aren't in English. What do you think would be left of this suburb if immigrants hadn't come here and it opened all of these amazing businesses and shared their culture? And shared their culture? I don't know if it's so much sharing as there is mostly one sect of group here. It's a very uh, monoculture in this area. I don't think so. If you just look across the road there, you've got Pakistani and Indian restaurants. Right, all right. Yeah. But do you see many British pubs in this area? There's one right there. Where? The Lakemba Hotel, it's right there. The it's Lakemba full of Australian Hotel. people who are just screaming at you in English. Were they screaming at me in English? Well, for the most part, this is a monoculture, and I think we know that. In fact, there have been massive riots in this area, race riots as well. There have been massive problems with gangs in this area that we know of. I'm sure you know of the Lakemba riots. No, I'm the local crime and courts reporter, and I don't remember the last time there were race riots here, and it's not a monoculture. I can see, I think, four or five You're the local different... crime reporter. Yeah, I can see just... Just right here where I'm standing, four or five different countries represented. Well, I can tell you right now that our professional culture. security, I had to bring professional security to come here, and when they did a survey of the area, they told us we needed more than a few security guards, and that's the professionals. Lauren, you and I aren't very different. We're both blonde white women, and I'm walking or, around so what, here. What, why is that relevant? Need, why is us being blonde and white relevant? Because I don't need any security, so I'm just at a loss as to why you think you might need some as well. Right, maybe because you aren't criticizing Islam, and I am. I'm not criticizing Islam. Exactly, and I am, so I need security. Why are you criticizing it? What are you afraid of? What am I afraid of? I'm afraid of places like Rotherham becoming areas of mass Islamic Sharia enclaves, young girls being raped by these gangs that are being created. I'm afraid of what's happened in Rotterdam, what's happened in all of these different areas in the UK, in Islamic majority areas that have had gang problems, crime problems, Sharia enforced, where you couldn't have a pride parade. Do you think you could have a pride parade through Lakemba? You know, you know that's a no. Well, you know for a no fact really that's a no. No one really wants to. Yeah, no one wants to because no one here accepts the LGBTQ community because it is a monoculture. But not everybody has to be the same. Oh, so not everyone has to accept the LGBTQ community? I'm sure that there's lots of LGBT people that wouldn't necessarily love all of the tenets of Islam. Doesn't it work both ways? Right, because they don't work with each other. They are completely at odds with each other, the values. And that's why we can't have cultures that are at odds with Western values of freedom, tolerance, democracy within Western societies because they are going to clash at some point. And that clash of cultures is not going to be pretty. If this becomes the majority, guess who's not going to get to exist? The LGBTQ community. So don't sit here and pretend that my criticisms are invalid. Don't pretend that I they don't have reaching. some merit behind them. You think I'm reaching? You just told me when I asked if you could have a pride parade through here, you said nothing. And you know because you can't say anything because you know you couldn't. Silence. Just, there's no evidence of that. You, no think you, could, you think you could have a pride parade through Lakemba? Why not? Do you think that gay Muslims don't exist? Yes, because it's not within their doctrine. That's not correct. That's not correct? No, it's not correct. They exist. They exist. There's gay people in every religion. Right, and how, how does that go over in Islamic majority countries? What happens to gays in Islamic majority countries? This isn't an Islamic countries? majority country, so why is that at no, all no, no, relevant to me, me, answer me. What happens to gays in I'm Islamic majority countries? I'm not the, what I'm happens not the one to gays? who's looking for a problem, Lauren. What happens to gays in Islamic majority countries? That's, but that's not relevant here. We're in Lakemba. We're in Sydney. We're in Australia. Right, and the it's only reason it's working right now for gays is because they're the minority in Lakemba. That's the only reason, and we both know that. I disagree with you. You disagree? It's, it's so you not, disagree that gays really, get thrown off roofs in Islamic majority countries? It's really not my position to have a view at this point. I'm a journalist. So shouldn't you be looking into what happens in these countries where this culture becomes the majority? I don't work. As a journalist? I don't work overseas. I work here. My job is a local crime reporter for this area, not anywhere right. else. Right. And here, and the issues that you're afraid of, they don't exist here. They don't exist here. Because people are the minority here that have these views that are anti-human rights. So why is that going to change? because you're allowing more and more immigration and people want more immigration. So you think that people who are living in fear of their lives, persecuted in other countries, shouldn't be allowed to have safe harbor here in Australia? Did I say any of those words? I'm just asking if, if we should stop immigration, why should we stop immigration? If because their lives are at risk. Because you couldn't answer the question when I said, could you have a gay pride parade through Lakemba? That's why. 
because you can't have basic human rights in certain areas where people don't believe in them. That's why. Okay, and you well, are too okay. afraid to admit that there is a huge problem with assimilation and that there is a huge problem with the adherence of Islamic faith and Western values. You won't admit that because you know you'll get fired from your job. You know you'll be in massive trouble if you ever said any inkling of those words. I work in use call. Great. You're bought out. You, you don't have any of your own opinions. You probably went and got a journalism degree and were told what to say and you don't have, you can't say anything. You have no freedom when you have these giant cameras behind you and when you've got News Corp behind you. You have no freedom to say what you want to say. We don't even work together. He's not mine. He's just here. Yeah, with News Corp? No, he's No, he's not. Oh, well, he's probably with the mainstream media too. Why is that relevant? Why is that relevant? Because you have seven layers of bureaucracy you have to go through before you put a damn thing out to the people. That's not true. That true. is true. That's not that true. That is true and you know okay. it's true. If that's what you think. That's your, All right. That's your opinion. Well, I'm going to continue my walk. Okay, go for it. Cheers.